European regulation called Digital Markets Act or DMA in short, is actually fixing the Windows 11 by making almost all the pre-installed applications optional. Now, their next target is the Microsoft Store. Yes, you'll be able to uninstall Microsoft Store if you don't want to use it in European countries where the Digital Markets Act applies. So I think most of you guys already know this. If you live in one of these European countries where DMA applies, you can actually uninstall most of the pre-installed applications. But if you don't live in European countries where the DMA doesn't apply, you're kind of stuck with the Microsoft Edge, even though there are ways to uninstall it now. If you want to use DMA feature on your PC, don't worry, at the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to do it. So DMA is now coming after Microsoft Store. There are many other changes like default browser changes, uh, Windows search changes. You can uh, have any search that you want. You're not stuck to Bing. The most interesting one is this one. Th this is big one. Okay. <laughs> you know, the Microsoft Store. This is a place where you download apps, games, and whatever. It's just like a mobile phone's app store, like Google Play Store or App Store on iOS. But this thing is now becoming optional. The Microsoft Store can be uninstalled from start and settings in EEA, European Economic Area, just like other apps. To be honest, I actually use Microsoft Store. Okay, I actually download things from the Microsoft Store. I don't really want to uninstall it, but having a freedom to keep it or remove it is always a good thing. Okay, at least with the Microsoft Edge and many other uh, system applications. So basically DMA is giving you all the freedom that you need. Okay? You can uninstall almost everything from the system now or if you live in one of these European countries where the DMA applies. So even after you uninstall the Microsoft Store, somehow the apps will still get updates. As they say here, apps installed and distributed from the Microsoft Store will continue to get updates even if the Microsoft Store is uninstalled, keeping them secure and up-to-date. So they don't mention how. Maybe it will happen through the Windows updates. Maybe you'll have to enable this feature. DMA is making everything optional. If you want it, you can keep it. If you don't, you can uninstall it. It's a good thing, <laughs> to be honest. And after you uninstall the Microsoft Store, you can still install Microsoft Store applications without Microsoft Store. You can go to the Microsoft Store website and from there, browse the app that you want to download. Let's say, for example, this one. Here, you'll see two options, download and view in store. Just click on download and here it will download a web installer for that application. And you can install that application without Microsoft Store. And there are many other good changes coming. Like for example, Microsoft Bing app is a web search provider. When you search something in here, let's say, I have the Windows search disabled plus the web search disabled. I don't use it. Uh, but if you use it, let's say you're searching for something on the internet through the Windows search, uh, it will actually open those links to whatever your default browser is. It's not going to ask you to install Microsoft Edge. And this also applies to the other Microsoft apps like Photos app or any other application that relies on Microsoft Edge will not prompt you to download the Microsoft Edge. On the other side, Microsoft is trying to integrate Microsoft Store deeper into the system. So just recently they posted this blog uh, about the Microsoft Store's new changes. Again, as I said, I'm not against Microsoft Store. I actually use it and I don't see myself uninstalling it, but there are other applications that I don't really use and install them like Microsoft Edge, even though I also use it sometime, but not for browsing, but for the gaming, you know, it has the cool gaming feature. I have made a video on that too. But all I'm trying to say here is that we need freedom. Okay, we need freedom to choose what we want to use. Uh, but you know, the Microsoft, they're just forcing everything to the user and making a lot of the system apps not uninstallable. So they are improving the Microsoft Store, they're changing design and uh, they're uh, creating a 
a suggestion for you now, like for you page and all that based on your activity. And now this is the thing, a deeper windows integration. To be honest, again, as I said, I don't use windows search. It's disabled. You can see right here because I use this. This is also from the Microsoft. Uh, it is called Power Toys Command Palette. I just love using this, so I have the Windows Search disabled. But if you use Windows Search, uh, now the Microsoft Store is getting integrated to the search. Basically, you'll be able to search for apps on the search. Now, let me show you guys something here. One of the coolest application that you can use. This is called Wind toys. This is a Windows optimizer. You can get it from the Microsoft Store. Using this, you can change your Windows 11 settings and optimize the performance and everything. Uh, but there is one really cool thing about this is that you can also enable DMA features. If you go to tweaks and go to system here, you'll see this option, Digital Markets Act. Just enable it if you want to you know, it gives you the small description here. Actually, the Digital Markets Act is an EU regulation that offers more freedom regarding digital products and prevents large companies from abusive tactics. You know, so basically you'll get all the EU benefits once you enable this. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.